Hello, I'm Connor. I'm Matthew. I'm Rory. I'm Caelan. I'm Colin. I'm Andrew. I'm Alex. Hi lads, and I'm Paddy, and welcome to your new school, St. Patrick's College Cabin. We are a few of your mentors who will be here to help and assist you all throughout first year, and who will be here in August to help you settle into the new school. In this short video, we will give you a guided tour of the school so that you can get to know its layout. Between this short video and the booklet that you will have already received, we hope that it will answer many of your concerns and questions. If not, just jot your questions down and when your mentor contacts you in August, he will be happy to answer them questions. But for now, sit back and enjoy the tour. Our tour begins down here in the bus bay. For those of you travelling by bus to school, this is where your bus will drop you off in the morning and pick you up in the evening. Your bus driver will tell you what time he will pick you up on your way to school and what time he will pick you up after school. For those of you travelling by car to school, this is where your parents will drop you off in the morning and pick you up in the evening. Now let's go see where your parents will drop you off on a rainy day. On a wet morning, your parents should be there to drop you off up here. They will drive up the avenue, around the roundabout, and drop you off here. Now I'm going to hand you over to Colin. Thanks, Paddy. So this is the St. Augustine's building. This is where the first year lockers and canteen are located. You'll come here every morning before school to collect your books. This is your canteen where you eat your lunch every day. You can buy dinners and other snacks here. Dinner is 4.50, break time is at 10.50 and lunch is at 1.05. Classrooms in this building are here. Here. And here, three other science labs are also located on this corridor. And this is our home and kitchen where cooking glass will take place. This is the main school building. It was opened in 2012 and is where most of your classes will be held. This is the main school canteen. This is where all other years will come to buy and eat their lunch. But as Colum has already explained, first years will have their own canteen down in the St. Augustine's building. And if we turn right here at the main entrance, we'll find ourselves at the main office. This is the main office. We will come if you have to sign in school after arriving late, or if your parents have to sign you out early for any reason. And if your parents have to sign you out early, this is the visitor's entrance where they will come. Here we have the principal's office where you might find Mr. Rowley if you have to talk to him. And here we have the staff room. Students should not enter the staff room, but if you need to find a teacher and they aren't in the room, you 
You may knock once and wait for someone to come to you. Here at the end of the Green Corridor is our art room. Miss McKeown is our art teacher and here she'll teach you to do anything from printing, sculpting, painting and much more. We have a wide variety of resources for you to use and to explore your own ideas. Around the room you'll also see uh, works from past students in the art room. And out here we have posters from past uh, musicals and shows we present here at school. Here are the change rooms. There's two change rooms. You get changed here for PE and any other sport and activities. If you just follow me in here. This is the hall where PE takes place along with basketball games. First year summer exams and Christmas exams are in here and also any large gatherings like first year mass do we take place in here. This is the stage where all the musicals take place and other activities such as Pat's Vacca. This is the green room, which we use for any plays and musicals. This is the downstairs blue corridor, mostly made up of labs and classrooms. There are seven labs in St. Pat's, three of which are found in upstairs in the Augustans building. The remaining four is found along this corridor. Design Communication Graphics, also known as the TG Room, Technical Graphics Room. This room is equipped with special TG tables and high-spec computers loaded with special design graphics software. Now, if you follow me in here, you'll spot the engineering room. You normally find Mr. McGuigan and Mr. Diagon how to work preparing for the classes. Now, if you follow me down this corridor here, you'll find our woodwork rooms here and over there. Um, our three woodwork teachers are Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Burns and Mr. Gunn. This is where your woodwork classes are held. Both woodwork and engineering are very popular amongst first years. And then here is our music room. Mr. Tackney is our music teacher. He runs the choir, the jazz band and the traditional Irish group. We're in the upper green corner now. Uh, this is mostly classrooms. However, over here we have a small quiet room called the prayer room. Students and teachers are free to use this small room uh, anytime, break, lunch, or during a religious events like Ash Wednesday. Over this end, we have our two computer rooms one here, one there, and we have 50 computers between. This is where you'll be taught how to code, navigate the internet, and use various software. And just over here we have uh, Mr. O'Shea's office, one of our deputy principals. And downstairs by the Woodrow rooms is where our other deputy principal, Miss Gwen Brady, has her office. This is the main school gym, filled with high quality gym equipment. Our school chaplain's office, where our chaplain, Father Andrew Tully, can be found when he comes to visit St. Patrick's College. This is the upstairs blue corridor, which is entirely made up of classrooms. So we are now outside and we're going to go up to our handball alleys.
there are two outdoor alleys. These are indoor handball alleys. We have three handball alleys and one ping pong area. Every year there's a handball competition held for four shoots. This is also where five time world champion Paul Brady started his handball career. These are three outdoor basketball courts. These are used during PE and break time by all years. In behind the St. Augustine's building is the soccer courts. And here are the soccer courts where you come to play soccer during PE or during lunchtime. And behind me here is the original St. Patrick's College building. Classes are no longer held here, but we do sometimes come here for masses, confessions, and when guest speakers visit the school. But down the avenue here, you'll find our Macquarie Gym. This is the entrance to the Macquarie Gym. This is where our teams get changed for trainings and matches and they do their circuits during training. And over here is our Gaelic football pitch. This is where our matches and trains are held. Now I'll hand you over to Paddy now. Thanks Caelan and thanks to the rest of the lads for showing you around the school. I hope you found this video helpful. We all look forward to seeing you on August 28th. And remember, that day is for first years only and your mentors will be here to help you settle in. Now, to finish up, I'll hand you over to your new year head, Mr. Hackett. Well, hello and welcome, first years of 2020. Uh, as Paddy just said, my name is Ray Hackett and I'll be your year head. Uh, that means for the next five, six years, I'll be working closely with you and your teachers to ensure that you get the most out of your experience in St. Pat's. So until we meet again uh, in August, uh, I hope you have a very good summer. Best of luck. Christopher Rowley here, the principal in St. Patrick's College. I hope lads you've enjoyed the presentation and video from our sixth year students. We know you've had a very disrupted end to your national school, but we're doing all we can to plan a very successful entry into St. Pat's. We look forward to seeing you all at the end of August, and I wish you well for your summer holidays. Enjoy this time.